Hot takes, great debates, highlights, basketball. Victor Oladipo of the Indiana Pacers is closing in on his return. If you remember, about a year ago to the date, Victor Oladipo, he, uh, he ruptured his quad. He tore his quad pretty much, essentially, in a very ugly injury. And I believe this. I've been the guy on record of saying this. I believe the Indiana Pacers were going to beat the Boston Celtics in the first round of the playoffs had that 4-5 matchup took place because Indiana would have had home court had Victor Oladipo never went down with an injury. Hell, Pacers might have would have been able to get to the three seed. The Pacers were rolling. They're just a bunch of guys that play incredibly hard. And when I look at this lineup uh, this season, just more of the same. Nate McMillan's doing a fantastic job. He deserves more credit what he's doing, more coach of the year consideration for what he's doing in Indiana. He's just got that group rolling. I've said this on countless times. I like how those guys play basketball. They play pretty much every night. You know you're getting the best effort from everyone that touches the court for Nate. Oladipo is closing in on his return, though. Averaged 18 a game last year. Led that Pacers team. Was an all-star. Uh, voted in before he got injured. Oladipo is set to make his return. And the Pacers are promoting this bad boy. They're, they they announced this like a couple weeks ago. He's coming back on January 29th, so a few days from now, against the Chicago Bulls at home. I'm not mad at the Pacers for what they're doing. Uh, usually I'm like, yo, just get him back in the lineup. Let's not put too much hype on it because I don't want to put too much expectation on a guy that's going to need some time to get his legs under him. I mean, think about it. He comes back on the 29th. He's going to be on a minutes restriction. Uh, hell, he gets going for a couple weeks, and then there's All-Star Weekend, right? So I don't want to put any pressure on it. I feel like when you hype it up and you tell the fans, oh, this is the date that Victor Oladipo returns, I feel like you put a lot of pressure and hype on it in most situations. But specifically for this situation with that Pacers group, I like it. If you watch Pacer games, Oladipo's always engaged with his teammates. He's always giving them high fives. He's cheering when Sabonis comes down with that offensive rebound. He's watching as Mal Turner drills that jump shot. He's watching Malcolm Brogdon take the charge. He's really engaged with that Pacers group. So I think they'll just kind of let him do him, work his way back. If he can play 20 minutes one night, good. If he only got eight minutes in the chamber, it's okay. And the way that Pacers team plays hard, look, TJ Warren, he he he'll, he don't mind having a couple more shots a game. Malcolm Bryant don't mind taking a couple more shots a game. The Holiday Brothers, they'll they'll take any shot they can get, right? Uh, you can bring him back slowly. You can promote it a little bit. You know, Indiana is one of those fan bases when they're really good. That Pacers fan base rides for their team, and they're not fair a hundred percent. They're close. Look, I wouldn't want to play that team in the playoffs. But I think gassing up the Oladipo uh, return, get that fan base kind of really into it. They're already winning games. Number five right now in the East. I like it, uh, and I'm happy that Oladipo is, is set to return. Uh, not too many guys in that NBA work harder than Victor Oladipo. Happy he's ready to come back and, and give it a go. I think the Pacers have all the makings of a team that can end up being a three seed. And you know what? That Pacer fans base that follows my platform, you guys should make a run at it. Y'all been good uh, thus far this season. Y'all added some additions this last summer, adding uh, Lamb and, and Brogdon, obviously. You're getting an all-star back with what Sabonis is giving you. He should make his first all-star game with what Miles Turner is capable of. You guys should jump up a couple spots. I'm going to put a lot. I've been giving you guys credit and gassing y'all. I, I want to kind of pay that off now. You guys should jump up a couple spots after all-star break. I expect you guys to get rolling and, and make a run at that two or three seed and try to give yourselves home court for a couple rounds. Thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage, feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.